Good morning and welcome to Inside South Florida. I'm Dave Azer. Today, trying to figure out how to pay for your kid's college and save some money for yourself, well, we've got an expert financial planner here with The Scoop, plus a book that teaches parents how to help their kids enjoy sports more. We're going to talk with one of the book's authors and information on the Florida AIDS Walk and how that disease is affecting our community. That and more as Inside South Florida starts right now. If you find yourself with some money to invest, the next question is, where to invest it? Well, here's Andrew Wilson, the Director and Regional Sales Manager with Merrill Edge, with some expert advice on how to grow your portfolio. Andrew, good to have you on the show. Thanks for having me, thanks. All right, so we're gonna talk about making money, saving money, all good stuff. Fantastic. And before we do that, let's hear a little bit more about your company. Tell us about Merrill Edge. So Merrill Edge, uh, great question, Dave. The Merrill Edge is, uh, is really a function of what our customers have been looking at um, out in the uh, community for a while, um, really bringing awareness around investments and banking um, under one umbrella. So Merrill Edge, uh, we cater to our mass affluent. So our mass affluent customers are those individuals that we've identified that have between 50 and $250,000 with us, annual incomes of around $75,000. Um, with that being said, uh, we thought it was very important to, uh, to have an in-face or an um, in-field financial solutions advisor to really help cater to not only the banking side, but also the investment side. Okay. And a question that must come up for you almost every day is college, college tuition. What do I do to get my kids to go to college and feel comfortable about it? So let's start talking about that. Give me some ideas uh, people can start doing now for their kids who are going to be going to school. Right. Great question. And I, and I do get that uh, very often. So what, what I would say first and foremost, uh, very important to understand uh, that, that it may, may be right for you, may not be right for you uh, on the different types of options. So some of the options that we do have is Florida prepaid. Um, and the other option is a 529 plan. So to make the distinction, Florida prepaid um, are for those individuals who are looking to go to a state school here in, uh, in, the, in Florida. Um, and a 529 plan is more of a supplement to, uh, to college. Um, with that being said, Florida prepaid, the earlier start, the more beneficial it will be for you. Um, obviously, the later on down the road um, that you get towards uh, to those college years, it is going to be more expensive, right? 529 plans, on the other hand, uh, is a nice way to have a family type oriented type of investing for, um, for your kids, if you will. Um, to, so everyone can help supplement um, your, your kids' uh, college. Um, but again, it is a supplement and not really uh, paying for prices today for tomorrow as a Florida prepaid. And the 529 especially is good for you if your kid's going to go to school out of Florida, right? Absolutely. So 529 plan, um, it's, you can take it with you uh, is the way that I, uh, I kind of uh, portray it. Um, whether you're going to NYU or Notre Dame or, or wherever, it, wherever it may be, um, you, you have the ability and flexibility to, um, to do with it what you will. All right. So now you have some disposable income. You want to invest it. People come to you and they say, what do I do with my money? Um, I had asked you earlier about gold because that's mm -hmm. all you hear about these days. But is, is putting everything in gold a smart idea or, or not? Yeah, I, I, uh, I'll take it back to, um, to something my grandmother used to tell me is don't put all your eggs in one basket, right? And so while gold may be, um, may be a, a portion of your, of your investable portfolio, I would say uh, you'd want to speak with a financial solutions advisor or an advisor of that, of that nature um, to really help guide you through what's important to you. Uh, the way that I'll, I'll, um, I'll frame it up for you, Dave, is if you had to paint a picture of what retirement looked like, what would you paint? And then based upon that and your needs and your goals and your time horizon, um, we'll be able to identify for you, is gold the right pick? Um, is it maybe a mutual fund? Is it something else? Is it a money market? Is it a CD? Right. All right. So saving for retirement, putting some money away. Uh, one of the benefits that people often get in workplaces is a 401k. Mm -hmm. where, do you, where do you come in on the 401k? Absolutely. This, in my opinion, is free money, right? So 401k is a uh, pre-tax dollars coming out of your paycheck, obviously, um, for services rendered, right, for working with the company. Um, a lot of companies out there will provide you with a 5% or a 6% match. So what does that mean? Um, opening up a 401k, and if you allocate 5% of your paycheck, whether it's biweekly or monthly, um, the company will also match that. So it's like saying for every dollar you put in the table, the company will match 30 or 40 cents. Uh, that's a win-win for us. Sure. Yeah. And then a Roth IRA. What do you think about those? Roth IRAs, I, th I think, are good as well. These are uh, after-tax dollars that are going into an account or sometime in the future. Okay. You have this really cool thing called face retirement, uh, mm -hmm. which I got to check out as soon as we're done doing yeah. this here. Tell us about face retirement. Face retirement is a um, great tool, a uh, social tool that, um, that actually Merrill Edge just kind of rolled out in December 2012. Um, it gives us the ability to really connect with our present self and our future self. And so what do I mean by that? Um, MerrillEdge.com, face retirement. You go on, they'll take, you put in your, uh, your age, your gender, um, and then you take a snapshot of your uh, picture of yourself. What it will do is it'll, it'll aid you over time 
um, and it'll show you what you look like. So Scary. if it's bags or no hair, right, whatever the case may be. So great tool because it's, it's really going to help you connect or bridge the gap between your future self and your real self right now. And it will uh, give you an idea of how much money you need to set aside for plastic surgery, for Botox, for, <laughs> for hair transplant, whatever you need. Absolutely, and good point there. Um, it, uh, in addition to showing you the picture, which you may or may not like, um, it's going to show you cost of living. So what milk costs in 40 years, what, um, you know, what bread costs in, uh, you know, in 25 years, which really helps out. You know, to be more effective, you guys should manipulate the program so everybody looks like a supermodel or George Clooney. Actually, you know? yeah, actually funny you say that. There is an app in there where you can kind of tweak uh, your results and what you look like. <laughs> so I'm sure there will be some people doing that as well. That's great. Yeah. All right, uh, just a couple minutes left. So we, we've sort of covered a lot of things, but um, if you could kind of just give us your – your best pieces of advice for, for people now that, you know, they don't have a ton of money, but maybe they have a little bit of money they can squirrel away. What do you think they should do? Yeah, I think first and foremost is um, really understand the importance of saving. And so I'll say savings and retirement in the same, in the same sentence. Um, you're never too early or too old or too young to start saving for retirement. I think our, you know, our younger population between 18 and, uh, and 34 really need to sit down and have a heart to heart with themselves um, and figure out what their goals are for the future. Uh, so my first takeaway, if, if it would be anything, would be um, set a goal for yourself, stay disciplined, so set up a disciplined approach on paying yourself first, um, and have a, uh, a six-month review with your financial advisor just to make sure that you're on track and nothing has uh, changed substantially in your life. Okay, fantastic information. And if people want to get a hold of you, find out more about Merrill Edge, how do they do it? Yeah, Merrill Edge, uh, MerrillEdge.com. A um, lot of resources there for you as well. So uh, yeah, please, uh, please feel free to join that and, uh, and log on. So great to have you here. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks a lot, Dave. All right, take care. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. And remember to go to MerrillEdge.com for more details. All right, when we come back, local sports writer Ethan Skolnick has co-written a book that teaches parents and kids how to get more enjoyment out of youth sports. The details on the book when we come back.